The first thing Zenny ever said that got stuck in my memory is when she introduced herself to us, her blackmates, during our first week in college with those spoons. I came from Basilan, the land of the rebels. Five years later, when Zenny and I started working in KPMG, I joked to her office mates that she is actually the princess of Basilan, who wanted to experience the life of a normal citizen and decided to run away from her kingdom and become an auditor. And since she is used to getting head to look better, they should beware of her wrath. But I'm not exactly sure why some of them actually believe that. I mean, sure, Sunny does have a temper sometimes, but she would never hurt anyone, much less sever their heads. The next thing Zenny ever said to me that got stuck in my memory is when she said, My head hurts because I'm holding my tears in. We were at our blackmate Gaithler's mom's funeral listening to Gaithler's eulogy. I remember turning to her to say that I felt exactly the same way and we were both delighted that we shared something in common. That was the first time we ever talked. A few months after, we became friends in our gang, the Hagabals, was born. We discovered soon enough that we had more than one thing in common. The next thing that Zenny ever said to me that got stuck in my memory is when she told me, It's like a now or never situation, referring to our pending decision on whether or not to take a huge risk by leaving Zamboanga and try working in Makati. In the end, we took the leap and we flourished as roommates in Makati for many years. I'm glad she agreed to join me, because if she hadn't, I am not sure if I would have had the guts to push through. And yet there she is, and here I am, and we would never have been in each of our places, I'm sure, if we didn't have each other on that fateful day in July 2004. I don't remember anymore what was the next thing that Sunny ever said to me that got stuck in my memory. We have been dog mates, seat mates, cheat mates, group mates, room mates, office mates, and house mates. We have said so many things to each other that it would take me more than a day to enumerate here. But more than words, we have shared love. She didn't just get stuck in my memory, but in my heart as well. Happy birthday, Zenny. I love you always.